We can cross continents in hours that used to be days. Our world is wireless, our lives limitless from science. A continuous churn is now but the buttons pushed. My automobile is automatic, my information is instant from science. Science has done much for us. Science has done much to us. But there's a man in the bush with no toilet to flush, but we work feverishly to get him access to our internet for science. And misguided men make guided missiles for makeshift missions for science. And with manipulated research, suppress truth, and exchange data, we can dismiss, excuse, or promote anything with science. And a scientist in need of a grant. You see, it wasn't so long ago when one such said quite scientifically that my or any one of my people's brains were too small to consider us whole, not like a real man, so that the oppression could continue justifiably through science. And now science says it's not your fault, excuse your vice as you demoralize or devitalize the people around you with science for grant writers and grants. You see, a house can have a brain, but a million children have no home. You can help a filter your room, but you can't desmog the earth. You can guard your child from the man on the street, but they lay chest up on the stone on the information highway since pedophiles have been granted electronic association through science. And you can freeze me and tease me with elongated life. You can tuck me and suck me in the illusion of creating fresh life with science, but has science preserved man? Or has the scientific depth of morality pushed man's toes to the edge? Isn't science saying we're making all things grand while reality says we live in a pool of death? Didn't that scientist and grant writer promise to make anything true? And I laugh at the delusions because I remember when my brain was supposedly too small to be able to recall that it was science who said, you're not even man. A little love, a little love, spread the love. <laughs>